lovelies welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video i'm going to be bringing you five fresh and clean perfumes from my collection but before i start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give me a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on instagram so i have five perfumes here with one honorable mention i know this is a trend of mine now i keep bringing in these honorable mentions but the reason for this particular honorable mention is because it's discontinued and bringing you discontinued perfumes is not ideal but these perfumes are in my collection so it's only right that i bring them to you but you can still get it on say like ebay but be very careful you can swap with people on um facebook groups and stuff like that so i've had this perfume for a very long time and i don't even know why i never spoke about it but here it is this is Beolia by Penhaligans. This is probably the most realistic, freshest, lemongrass smelling kind of perfume you would ever smell. This is very, very aromatic. Like, it's so aromatic, it's so clean, it's so fresh, it's so amazing, it's so long-lasting. Guys, when I tell you this is an all-day smelling perfume, honestly, it's very long-lasting. I cannot find a perfume that i could compare to it but if you're looking for that very fresh um sparkling kind of scent um one from penhaligans called juniper sling could they don't smell anything i like but that freshness that it has you can definitely maybe get that in place of this one like i said they don't smell the same but on the top of my head i'm just thinking okay what's a fresh penhaligans perfume that you guys can get definitely juniper sling and maybe for the greenness you could go for you can go for cousin matthews by penhaligans i couldn't find my juniper sling so that has the greenness that Beolia has and maybe if you mix juniper and um cousin matthews might work i haven't tried it but i'm just imagining this is the greener um of the two juniper sling is quite aromatic it's quite fresh and sparkling so it might work but um Beolia, like i said is one of the most realistic lemony smelling perfume ever it's very very citrusy and it's a citrus perfume that actually lasts it also has some tangerine it's got some musk it's got lavender it's got amber it's a very well rounded super super fresh and clean smelling perfume so this is Beolia by Penhaligon. So now that the honorable mention is out of the way, the number five on this list, is this in any particular order? I'd say yeah, I'm going to put this in order again and I'm going to say number five is Musk Noir by Narciso Rodriguez. Narciso does the best musk in my opinion. Their musk is just A1 all the time. This has a very beautiful musky, plummy kind of scent. You get the plum right in the opening. It smells really clean, really sweet, fresh. Um, I think this has heliotrope. It's got musk, of course. It's got plum in the opening. So it's a fruity, musky, clean smelling perfume. There's Musk Noir for her rose, I believe that's called. Out of the two of them, I still prefer this. That's why I didn't purchase that other one. I just like the cleaner scent that this one has. That one is basically like this, but with rose. So I don't think I needed both in my collection. They're both lovely, but this comes out slightly on top for me personally. Like I said, it's a musky, lovely perfume that you need to get your nose on if you haven't already. Very, very stunning, long-lasting perfume. I have about five, I think four or five Narciso perfumes in my collection. But this one has to be, I don't know if, the, I think it's my favorite for right now. It's perfect for spring and summer. It's clean, it's musky, it's amazing. It's definitely one to check out if you haven't already. So this is Musk Noir for her by Narciso Rodriguez. So the next perfume is by Kayali and this is Musk 12. Guys, the reason I've not, I've used half, almost half already. I haven't bought the 50 mil because I can't find it. I keep finding 10 mil and 100 mil and I don't want a 100 mil perfume. I want like a 50 mil, 10 or 30 mil bottles. This is a very clean, musky, vanilla, powdery scent. It is 
it is so clean i absolutely love this it's so long lasting out of all of the um kayali perfumes i feel like musk 12 and elixir 11 are so long lasting and even sweet diamond pink pepper if you wanted to layer musk with any of the kayali perfume the ones that the one that i like to layer most with musk is elixir 11 both of them together smells incredible really really incredible a lot of people don't really talk about elixir 11 i don't know why i think it's so underrated and it's the most long lasting of all of the kayali uh, perfumes if you guys want to see my full kayali perfume collection video let me know i'd be happy to do it if not i won't do it but if you want to see that let me know must 12 is a clean powdery vanilla really really clean fresh sweet scent although it's got a sweetness to it it doesn't turn cloying just don't layer it with vanilla 28 because then you might feel very icky because those two together i've tried it they are like a no-no so like i said if you wanted to layer must 12 do it with elixir 11 they smell amazing together so once again this is must 12 by kayali the next perfume on my list is twilly ginger this is candid ginger peony um i think it's got either cedar or sandalwood i think it's got cedar in it it's a very spicy um gingery smell almost a little bit soap soapy as well i feel like twilly the ms as a soapy vibe for sure this still has that DNA, that soapiness, that cleanness, the spice, the ginger. It's a very, very good perfume. It lasts long. It doesn't last, I don't know if it lasts longer than the original one. I feel like they have the same longevity, but this is perfect. If you want that sweet, soapy, gingery kind of smell, spice, if you like ginger, definitely you would love this you would love this because it's ginger well done it's fresh it's a little bit rosy smelling i think it's because of the peony but it's an amazing perfume by twilly also quite elegant but not as elegant as twilly dms this is a little bit more playful and i absolutely love it so this is twilly ginger by Hermes. so the next perfume on my list this will be number two i believe and this is flora botanica by balenciaga this perfume was raved about by almost every fragrance reviewer that I watch and I went up and bought it on the hype and I was so disappointed because I, I was just like why was everyone screaming about this it's not it's not that great but boy was I wrong this is a great perfume this is one of the freshest lightest perfume that actually has amazing longevity this is supposed to have cannabis in it no i don't really get the cannabis effect maybe it's because i'm thinking of what cannabis really smells like and that doesn't smell very nice to me anyway um but this has cannabis it has rose it's got some greenness going on yep it's green fresh rose vetiver ambery a little bit I find it, I find it to be a little bit minty, just to, just to like a tad minty, especially in the opening. It's a fresh scent. It's a fresh, long-lasting scent that I feel like if you smell it and you like me, you were not blown away. Please, please give it some time and try again. You might just fall in love with it, like I have. So this is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. So the number one perfume on this list for me has to be 11th hour by by Rado. guys this i don't hear many people talk about this perfume and i think it's because a lot of people that i've spoken to find that it leans masculine but i completely disagree with with it i think this is a perfectly unisex scent that smells so fresh and so clean this has some bergamot rum tonka fig it's such a well-rounded perfume it has a lot going on in it it lasts long it's oh my gosh it smells really clean it smells so nice a little bit aquatic as well oh this this is a must have this is definitely a must have if you are don't listen to people that think it smells masculine it doesn't trust me it doesn't smell masculine at all but it's one you can definitely share with your partner it smells great it smells so so great 
I think I might wear this today actually because it's quite hot um, in the UK today so if you haven't checked out 11th hour please do it's amazing everyone raves about Balder Freak which is fantastic guys Balder Freak is incredible but for me this comes a little bit on top because it has so much depth to it for a for a fresh and clean kind of scent there's a lot of different levels of it i really really enjoy this one so this is 11th hour by byredo so my lovelies i hope you guys have enjoyed watching my fresh and clean scent perfumes um let me know what you find to be really fresh and clean in your perfume collection comment it down below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like this video and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye